Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have done this glossy, bronzy, glowy, shiny look for you. I'm using some new products today. One of them I think is gonna be a new fave, especially for the summer. So if you'd like to see what I use to get this look, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna start with my lips. I'm gonna use the Overnight Conditioning Repairing Lip Mask in vanilla. This is by Jua. I've gone through pretty much half the pot. I really love this as a lip treatment. Um, it says overnight, but I just use it whenever I want it. I use it most mornings, I use it before lipstick, or if I'm not putting makeup on, I still use it. I really like it, it's so nourishing. And I get such dry lips, so this is perfect for me. Okay. So I've got skincare on already. Um, that is my Zo Health skincare. I've got the moisturizer on and the SPF. That's already on there. And I've got these new products that I got from Glossier. I've never ever used this brand before, but I see people raving about this serum. It's called the Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid, and it's by Glossier. It says apply two pumps all over the face on the last step in your skincare routine. Add more for highlight. That's what I liked about it because you use it before your foundation, but you also can use it as a highlighter. So I thought that was really interesting. That's the bottle there. It's really pretty, that like iridescence. It's really heavy as well. It's glass. So I'm going to apply this. It said two pumps. So one, two. And I'm gonna blend that in with a brush. I think I'll use my foundation brush so that whatever's left over stays on the brush so that I can blend my foundation with it. It smells nice, it is perfumed. Well, I say perfumed, it might not be perfumed, but it's got a scent to it. So let's see what it's like with some foundation over the top. I'm still using my it Cosmetics um, CC Plus Cream. So I'm gonna put a couple of pumps of this on. I feel like that looks really nice, like quite natural. Hmm, happy with it so far. So I'm just gonna put that aside for now. And then I'm going to cream up bronze slash contour with my Huda Beauty in medium. This is the Tantor. If you've been watching a lot of my videos, you will know that I just use this all the time. I love it so much. Personally, I really like the finish so far. I'm really happy with this. Okay, so as I'm going for like a summy, summy, as I'm going for a summery, dewy kind of look, I'm not gonna go in heavy with the powders, but I will need some. So once I've done my concealer, I will set some of my face. Um, the concealer that I'm going to use is Light Cream Sealess Concealer by Iconic London. That's what it looks like, by the way. I'm gonna have a really nice bright eye. And then to balance that out, I'm gonna put a little bit in the center of my face. I'll take my sponge and then blend this out. This concealer's lovely, it blends out really good. And then I'm gonna set that with my Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I'm gonna just go over them little creases under my eyes, push that concealer in, and then using the sponge, 
I'm going to take some of the product and I'm just going to press over that. Now for blush, I'm going to do my blush now because I want to add a bit of bronzer but I'm going to use a powder, bronzer and cream blush. Glossier sent me these samples of the Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Colour. So I think I'll go in with this colour because it looks really summery, it's like a corally colour and it's the shade Dawn. Whoa, that is so nice and bright, that's what it looks like inside. It's really nice to be able to try things before you buy it because I just buy a lot of makeup and then I don't end up using it for whatever reason. So it's nice to be able to try things out and then if you love it, buy it. I'm just patting this on, as you can see. Cute, I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I'm just falling apart on me. It's really sad because I really like this one. And it's from America, so they're not that easy to get. This is the Tarte sponge anyway. Okay, so I think that's cute. So that is that. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. This is the Hula Caramel. Bronzy. Okay, I'm gonna leave the bronzy in there before I get carried away. Um, I'm also just gonna get my foundation brush and I'm just gonna tap it into my hairline. Try and get rid of the difference there. So that's my bronze done and my powder. I'm really excited because I've got another new product. I keep buying makeup, I'm not strong with me. But I just see it and I want it. So this is what I got. It's the Fenty Super Fine 3D Sparkle for Face and Body Insane Diamond Dusted Effect. Um, I've got one of these already, the silver one, but this one is in the colour Cognac, 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 Cognac Candy, I don't know. God knows, this is the first time I'm opening it. I haven't even opened it yet. It's in the same packaging as the silver one that I've got. Um, so, and I love that silver one, so I definitely wanted to try this one. Wow, look at that. That is so pretty, I'm obsessed. So, this, the one that I had before was quite cushiony. This one doesn't actually feel like that, does it? Or is it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to use it with a brush, but you can use your hands with this as well. I'm just going to take my same bronzer brush and I am going to take this over my cheekbones. Wow, that is super pretty. Perfect for this bronzy look that I'm going for. really glowy it's really giving a nice sun kiss effect okay so moving on I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna put a base on here and then I'll be back okay so I've put some concealer on my eyelids I'm gonna zoom you in so that you're on as close as you can get and see if you can make it a little bit better yeah so we're pretty up close and personal right now Okay, so I've done that. Let me just pat it in a little bit more with my sponge. I'm going to do a really smoky, bronzy, summery eyeshadow. Um, so let's get some brushes. Yeah, let's use this one. This is a MAC 224 blending brush. And to start with, I'm just going to go in with my bronzer, which is what I used on my face. and use this in the crease and above here
And this can look a little bit weird when you first do it. Like it looks a bit strong, but once all the eyes are finished, you won't even notice that. It will just look like a shadow. So that's that applied and then I'm going to use this rather messy Natasha Denona mini palette and this is the mini sunset palette and I'm going to go into this really warm shade here which is Dirty Mars I'm going to get a slightly smaller blending brush this one is a MAC 221 and I'm going to take this into the crease here. And I'm just doing a little circular motions and pushing it right into the socket. I'm going to go in with a second round of that because I want that quite intense. And then I'm going to go back to the fluffy brush that I put the bronzer on and I'm going to start blending out the edge here. I might take a little bit more bronzer to do that. Okay, and now I'm going to get a flat brush, something small and flat. Yeah, I think I'll try this brush. This is a Dull Beauty DB14. I'm using the same colour, which is this one right here. And I'm going to take this in the outer and inner corner. So here. And here. And then back to that small fluffy brush, I'm going to blend them edges a little bit. Lovely. For the centre, I'm going to go in with the Fenty um, Diamond Bomb. And I'm going to use my finger for this. This might not be dramatic enough, we'll have to see. Oh, I like that. I like it. And with this, I'm going to put it on my brow bone here as well. And I'm going to kind of take it all the way up. So from the lid all the way to the brow. And then I'm going to get my fluffy brush and I'm going to blend these edges a little bit more. Cute. Okay, so I pop that aside there. I'm going to use another shadow for the inner corner highlight, which is this one here, which is called Guava. I'm going to take a small little detail brush. This is the C212 Detail Mini, Mini Chisel from Crown. Take a little bit of that, get in here. Look how intense that is. It's really pretty. And this palette is so small, it's so easy to travel with. Okay, that's done. Just gonna get a little brush and give my eyes a little light. I can see that it's still creasing. I feel like I have to put a proper setting powder just in this area, otherwise it just doesn't set. The rest of it does, but 
that little bit under there always creases. It's very annoying. So I'm going to put a little tiny bit of powder here. Get in there, get in there. Ooh. Ooh. Get the mirror back. Okay, so shall we try that highlighter, that glossy one? That my lips are. I think I'm going to try it now because I just can't wait. I'm impatient. So I'm going to go back to this and I'm only going to take a small pump like that. And I'm going to pat a little bit on my finger. This is quite scary because this is wet and it's going on top of all these bronzers. But anyway, let's just do it. And with this, I want to kind of take it all the way up here in like a C shape. I really like the smell of this. It smells like a spa. I really like that because I feel like it's melted the powders a little bit and made it look more skin-like. Obviously you're not going to have glittery skin, no one's got glittery skin, but I think it makes it look like less makeup. That has definitely given it such a glowy, I wouldn't say natural, but it's definitely given me a glow. That's what it's definitely done. I love it. A glow from within and that's what I want yes okay so back to eyes so I've got sidetracked there that's what I do um lashes need some mascara please Where's my mascara? full frontal Fenty so I'm going to chuck some lashes on. The lashes that I've got are the Tatty Lashes. These are the faux mink ones, the ones that I've been loving. And these are called, I think they're called Bitches Back. I haven't got the box here, have I? I'll have one for a second. Just fish it out of the bin. <laughs> um, they are called Fs. Yeah, Bitches Back. I put these on for a tutorial the other day. Um, I'm just going to put these ones back on because I don't want to waste them because I literally take this all off as soon as I finish filming. Of course I've stuck it too high right on my lovely handiwork that I've done. <sighs> and that's them on. That's that. What next? What else? What am I doing? Okay, I think I'll put um, some inner, inner waterline shadow. What am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about today, honestly. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. This is the nude one. I'm just going to use my sponge. So it's just going to open up the eyes, make them look nice and awake and big. And then today, I'm not going to put any eyeshadow under my eye for a change. I'm just going to put some mascara. There it is. I'm going to use this one because the other one, the brush is so fat. So I'm going to apply some of this on my lower lashes. I am actually so in love with this little look. I've got to remember. Oh, actually, I've got a video of it now, so I can remember. It's going to sound as to remember this, but when we get out of isolation, because I think it's a really nice summery I'd be for look. Ooh. I'd wear this in the night and in the day. Okay, so what am I on to now? I think I'm going to do two lips with this, because in my head, I wanted to do like a nice red, but because I would like to wear this in the day and the night, I think I'll do two lips. So for my day lip, I think I would use, I'll go in with, hmm, shall I? So I went and grabbed some different lip products to try. I've got this one here. This is an Aqua Lip 
by Makeup Forever and it is in the shade, I don't know, I've got to try and open that. I also picked up the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. Might still be a bit light that one. And then I picked up this one which is also Makeup Forever. Yeah, I think that's going to be too light. I'm going to open this one because this one's like a really rich brown. And you can't get them off. Oh, they're so long. Anyway, so what is the shade of this? Um, 6C. It's really dark, but I'm going to try it. Okay, and then for lipstick, I've got the Nude Cape by Charlotte Tilbury. And I've also got the, what is this? Oh, it hasn't got a sticker on it. This is also Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is the same name as the lipstick. I'm sure I brought these together. Right, and to finish off, I'm going to take the Iconic Water Mist in Original. I'm going to go lightly with this because I used it the other day and I went a bit nuts and <laughs> it was like so much. It was so dewy and I'm already dewy. It comes out so aggressively. Better. That comes out so aggressive. That must be why I got so drenched the other day when I used it. It was like I was proper soaked. So that is my daytime version. Oh, I've got that in my eye. I've got it in my eye. Oh. Whoa. Be careful with that iconic because it's an aggressive little fucker. It's made my eyes water. Anyway, so this is my daytime one. I know this is probably, you're probably thinking what the hell, but I'm talking about pool party vibes. And I like lipstick, but you could just wear like the lip balm that I had on the Jouer. You could even do a bit of lip liner, blend it in with your finger and then add a bit of that. I go all out, I'm talking ocean beach vibes here, pool parties, Blue Marlin. So yeah, I would rock this in the day, but I'm aware that this is too much makeup for some people. But yeah, I normally wear more than this, I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, so that's with this lip, and then I'm gonna do a night lip, different version, mix it up a little bit. So I'll be back when I've done that. This is my second lip option. I was thinking for a night, holiday vibes. This kind of lip just reminds me of being on holiday. I just love it. I think it really vamps up the look. I used the Linda Hallberg Angry Mood pencil. This is a mo sorry, this is a multi-use pencil. You can use this on your lips, your eyes, and your waterline. You can use it for anything. And I also used the Lime Crime. Uh, what is this? Lime Crime Soft Focus Lip Val, and it's in the shade Sorbet. So they're what I used for this look. Let me know which one you prefer, whether you prefer the nude colour or this bright colour here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I really had fun today. I'm loving this uh, serum from Glossier. Really, really happy with it. I think it's around £21. Um, it's quite a heavy, big bottle and it is cruelty free made in USA and you get 30 mils of the product, but you see how little I use, so I'm guessing you'd get a lot of use out of that. So anyway guys, take good care of yourself and I'll see you in my next video. And if you did enjoy this, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. 
Take care, guys. Bye.